Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Australia with a Sovtard who considers himself to be a follower of Mark Keyshawn Christopher, another Sovtard who thinks that there's a major world government uh, in charge of everything and that he's pretty much the head of it. But at any rate, this Sovtard is pulled over for a random t uh, alcohol test on the side of the road and, well, spouts off a lot of... the. Uh, incoherent gibberish that uh well can't be translated by a normal human being so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show is that your name yeah i'll start from the beginning how about we do that yes let's do that all right senior constable roncardo willingong highway patrol thank you i'm required by law to let you know i'm wearing a body worn video camera that's recording and there's cameras in the highway patrol car that are recording. That's well. fine, no dramas at all. All right, do you agree that I've uh, direct you into the RBT site for the purposes of random testing? I agree, you pulled me in for that, yeah. 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 Right. Do you agree that I've asked you to produce your driver's license? Yes, and do you agree that I've said to you that is a commercial contract to the Rads and Maritime Services? And that is a separate corporation to the New South Wales Police Force. Uh, yeah, you kind of lost me right there because that just sounded like a lot of gibberish about maritime law and uh, other things that don't really mesh well together. I mean, sounds like you're just pulling this shit out of your ass and that, uh, well, you shouldn't be listened to because you're a complete uh, moron. Which is a different ABN, so you didn't have the consent by me, who are, I am the beneficiary and the executor of that legal fiction name, you need to have the consent to even look up the details of that commercial contract to the RMS because you're a separate corporation. Yeah, that sounded like a lot of word salad meant to confuse people, but this officer here in a moment will not appear to be confused about it because he's probably heard it a few times before from crayon-munching softards like yourself who think they can get one over on the Australian authorities, which generally they do don't really go that well with it. I agree you said something similar to that, not quite as long as that, much, 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 much shorter. Oh, I do study law. Yeah, all right. Uh, I read law quite a bit uh, doing this kind of thing, and what you're spouting off right there is not law, it's incomprehensible, total gibberish word salad garbage. I mean, law can be a bit complicated to read, but it's nowhere near that bad. Uh, in the end, you said you're driving a motor vehicle and the state of New South Wales. No, I'm not driving a motor vehicle. I'm traveling. You're... Uh, yes, you are, dude. You are right, driving a motor vehicle. There's no getting around it. I mean, if you look in Black's Law Dictionary and read it properly, you'll definitely see that you are driving. I mean, don't rely on the out dated versions of it written over a century ago. I mean, things have changed since then. So please join us in the 21st century and stop relying on something that was written in back in the 19th century um, before cars were even invented. I mean, come on now, get with it. Required to produce and well, one carry and produce a driver's license with when police ask. That'd be if you're conducting commerce, and I'm not conducting commerce, I'm actually travelling. Citation needed, please, because I'm not going to rely on your uh, gobbledygook, soft tart garbage. Give me an actual statue that can look up. I mean, something, please. I mean, something other than that word salad. I then gave you a warning that if you didn't produce that driver's license, that you would be arrested. Oh, I agree you gave me that warning, but I find you have no jurisdiction as the state of New South Wales is registered to Washington, D.C. under the... Ah, uh, listen, to me, please. I'm going to continue. state of New South Wales is registered to Washington, D.C. on the Security Exchange Commission, 00000071545, which means that you now require an ASIC 4AD memorandum, ASIC 402, ASIC 403, ASIC 404 and ASIC 405 to be able to conduct business lawfully in this country. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to call a bunch of bullshit on that because you just cited a uh, United States agency uh, trying to uh, overrule the local authorities of a foreign government. It doesn't work that way, dude. It doesn't work that way at all. At least not with the Security Exchange Commission, dude. Come on now. Do better than that. I mean, good freaking grief. You're just putting out a bunch of BS that has no... 
no practical purpose. Again, I mentioned to you before, I don't know what you're talking about. I do because I study law. Yep. In the end, I'm dealing with the road rules in terms of New South Wales, the road legislation. Well, well I just told you, New State of New South Wales is registered to Washington DC without the people's consent of this right. country. Sir, this is your last warning. You need to produce... I don't need to... No, no, I don't, sir. You, you know... Senior Constable Ricardo, at this point in do time... You not, sir, do, do, not, do, not, I, do not come in my private property, sir. Sir, you're under Do arrest. not enter you're my under private property. You're trespassing you on my private property. You do not have consent to enter my property. This is my private property. Sorry, you do not have consent. You don't have consent. If you break my window... Open it up. If you break my Open window... No, you are trespassing against my property, sir. You do not have consent. I am quite sure if this officer were a few years younger, that window would not have stopped him from getting to you and pulling you out of that vehicle and uh, teaching you that that soft, tired uh, stuff is not going to work in Australia. I mean, th with the way it's been going in Australia, as far as the sovereign citizen movement, uh, Australia has been having a bit of a headache with it, and they're cracking down on it, as we should be here in the United States. But you know what? Unfortunately, it's just spreading around here like a freaking disease that people think they're somehow special and better than everybody else, and they think they're above the law when, well, they have to obey the laws of the country they're in. Otherwise, there will be consequences for your actions of not obeying the laws. You're now, now placing you under penalty of perjury you must provide the material evidence that you are not a business. Now placing you under penalty of perjury, you must provide the material evidence that you are not a business. That is the kind of thing that's decided by the courts, not out on the streets, you dumbass. Uh, but you know what? Let's carry on with your stupidity because this is just flat out entertaining of how stupid you are. Right now, you must provide the material evidence that you're not a business. You're under penalty of perjury now, I remind you, officer. I know the law very well. I study contract law. All right? Hey, I don't know where you come from, but uh, here in reality, this is not contract law. This is traffic law. Two entirely different different st disciplines of the law you freaking moron and you say you study law when you can't tell the difference between the disciplines of each one i mean for crying out loud dude get a clue i know exactly what goes on here you do not have jurisdiction over me i am under the jurisdiction and within the jurisdiction and here we go here's my identification of the global federal postal courts which doesn't exactly exist outside of the minds of this particular sect of Sovtards led by Mark Keyshawn Christopher. I mean, yeah, he's about to mention him, but needless to say, the guy is a complete dumbass too. And, uh, well, yeah, just go watch a few of his videos on TikTok and you'll see what I'm saying. That's a legal fiction name, that is not I. Legal fiction name, that's not I. You are committing personage right now by trying to identify me as a legal fiction name. You do not have the right to do so, that is personage. You know, I think this particular crime that he's talking about right here is only in the minds of that particular Sovtard movement itself because I haven't been able to find it anywhere in any law books anywhere because you know what? It probably doesn't exist. Personage is a crime. You're supposed to be upholding the law, sir. I am under global federal jurisdiction. Do you want to see my identification tag? You do not have jurisdiction over me. Real federal, not corporate. I am a student of Mark Kishon Christopher, the global chief postal court judge. Do you still want to wish to try to contract with me, sir? Do you believe you are higher jurisdiction than Mark Kishon Christopher, the global chief postal court judge?
Okay, so you think that uh, some random softard guru actually has higher authority than your own uh, parliamentary government? Uh, no, it's not how it works, dude. So, so why don't you come and join us in reality and realize that as far as the Australian government goes, it doesn't get any higher than the prime minister as far as that goes. So, so yeah, uh, uh, I don't think that that guru has any higher authority than uh, the prime minister or the parliament of Australia. So get freaking real, dude. The real federal. Commonwealth of Australia is registered to Washington DC on the Security Exchange Commission. 00008005157. That is fraud. That is treason. That is without the people's consent. Sir, you are sitting in a position of treason right now. I will take this to the courts. I've already beaten the Chief Magistrate in the court in Sydney. Dude, if you actually knew anything about the law, it's not the judge you've got to beat. It is the argument of the prosecuting attorneys, or in this case, the government's prosecuting attorneys. So, yeah, you, yeah, you know the law. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. You don't know anything about it from what I've seen. So you're just another incompetent buffoon who, well, has a, a case the Dunning-Kruger effect attached to them. And you will be next on the litigation. You'll be held liable in the private capacity. Do you understand? In the private capacity, you will be held liable. Your badge is your indemnity number. Your corporation does not cover you for your own conduct. Do you understand? So you do not have jurisdiction over me. I am global federal jurisdiction. And you will be receiving a judicial notice from me. Do you understand? corporation cannot make laws for the living, nor can a corporation enforce laws on the living. Sir, I run a channel that reaches over one... And that's where the video ends right there. I don't know what happens after that, and he doesn't say it on his channel either. But you know what? I have a feeling that uh, he didn't win this, and well, if he had, then he sure as hell would have posted it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.